What's up, anglers? It's Northern Scripture, and in this episode, we're going to be covering the mini buck. Now, you might be asking, what is a mini buck? It is exactly what it sounds like an extremely small bucktail. Super small, if that. And, small, quick, true story. I like to fish in secluded areas, mostly, but I do like to go around in public areas. Because sometimes there is good fishing around docks and piers and whatnot. So there's always little kids chilling around and they do a lot more standing and watching and fishing always. So I eventually thought to myself, I'm going to make myself a couple of these little old guys here and I'll bring them out when I go into public areas where I know there's going to be little kids and all they ever do is watch anyways. So... Now I just start handing them out to these little guys, and they absolutely love it. They catch fish, like, nonstop, albeit they're, they're small, so, you know, they're enjoying it. But to them, that's all they're there for, is to catch a couple small fish and have a good time. And if they're not catching anything, they're not enjoying themselves. So it's very key to have the little guys enjoying themselves when they're out on the water. But, uh, yeah, so... This one here is going to be a new one I'm going to make. It's extremely small, a lot smaller than the other ones. This one is a homemade one, as opposed to these ones I've bought in the base of them. Lucky Strike, I believe they are. And I usually just dress the Lucky Strike ones and give them away because it's cheaper to do it that way. Then I'm not spending more money and time building a more prettier model for myself if I'm just playing around. My nephew's uh, coming of age soon, so I'll be taking him out onto the water. So i got to make sure I got him the good supplies. But yeah, just like every other one that I've made, I dressed them huge. This one's got like the smallest hook ever. I haven't cut this one back yet, but I will do that soon before I eventually take it out and give it away to some little kid that I stumble across. But yeah, they actually work really well. I have tested out quite a few and given away quite a few to some kids and <laughs> I've just put down my rod and watched them and it's absolutely hilarious. It's great to see their faces. But uh, I'd like you to stay tuned. Uh, subscribe if you can. If you like my videos, there's a lot more coming. I think uh, the next two coming up, we're going to be doing the good old float and fly. Northern Scripture style ways. Because, you know, I do everything different. That's how I am. And then after that, I'm not sure if it's going to be a time lapse or maybe a whole walkthrough. But we're going to be putting this one together here, which I'm extremely excited for. So please stay tuned. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.